Welcome to this bite for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install your SSD into your computer, how to connect all the cables, where all the cables come from, and then how to install Windows on it as well. On top of that, I'm also going to show you maybe you're not interested in installing it as a Windows drive, you want it as a secondary drive. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to teach you the same on an M.2 SSD. But anyway, let's get started with the process real quick. Right over here, we have the power supply, the motherboard, and the SSD as well as a SATA cable. Now I took everything out so that you can see up close how everything is to make it a little bit easier for you to install into your computer. So first off, we're going to be plugging in the SATA cable and that goes right into here on the motherboard, any one of these six ports. Now, some motherboards might have the ports standing straight out right over here, some down here. They're going to be in a bunch of different areas, but just so that you know what they look like, they're gonna be one of these six or four or eight, however many your motherboard might have. And then we're going to be connecting this into there. Now, if you notice right over here, there's a little L shape. You'll notice that same little L shape right over here. So when we go to install it, we're going to match up those L shapes so that it connects just like that. And then we're going to connect that same L shape on the other side of the cable to the L shape right over here on the SSD. And simple. All right and we're connected. Now the power supply, I'm just going to move the motherboard over for a second. You have this long strand of Medusa cables. You might get a little scared. You may not know which one to use. So the cable that you're going to be focusing on is going to be a strand kind of like this. The end is going to look just like that. And like I showed you with the SATA data cable, there's that little L notch right over here, which will also match up with the L notch right over here. And we'll just, that's it, and it's connected. Now let me show you how to put it inside of your computer. All right, now that I've shown you how to install the SATA power side and the SATA data side, let's go ahead and put it inside of the computer. On my particular case, literally, it's going to be on the back of the computer just to keep everything hidden. So then we'll go ahead and grab a SATA power cable and connect it just like I showed you, making sure to match up the little L's. And then we'll go ahead and connect the SATA data cable. Okay, now because this is a SATA drive, there are no moving parts. You can kind of just throw it in there, though I don't recommend it. Not only do you want it to look beautiful, but you want it to work as it should. So we'll go ahead and install that real quick. All right, so we got that installed. Not gonna go over very detailed on how to do that because it literally will be different for every single case. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put the side panel back on. Coming in from where you would normally look inside your computer, I just wanted to show you, this is where the SATA cables go connected. Now on many motherboards, it'll be on the side here, maybe on the bottom here, facing down, like this is facing sideways. Now on a lot of other motherboards, it'll be either right here or right here, facing towards you. So instead of plugging it in sideways, you would plug it in directly into the board. But I just wanted to show you this side just in case like you were looking inside your computer. All right, now let's get started with the install and then also using it as a storage drive. So now let's go through the process of how to use it as a storage drive. So we'll go ahead, just turn on the computer real quick. Okay, so now that we're in Windows, if we went to click on the file explorer here, and on this PC, well, we don't see a new drive. We see the two drives that we had there before. Didn't we just install a new drive? That's okay. So it's a little bit odd the way you gotta do it, but I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so we'll just close out of File Explorer here. We'll right click on the Start button here, 
and then we'll click disk management. Okay, so disk management right now shows these two drives that I have, disk zero and disk one. And if we scroll down a little bit, hey, what's this, disk two? I'm gonna go ahead and expand it so we can see all the drives. So disk zero is my primary C drive and then all the other partitions that Windows puts in there for you. And then we have my other drive, my D drive. That's where I have another install of Windows. So over here, we can see we have a 465 gig or 500 gig unallocated drive. And you'll notice the allocated ones are in blue, unallocated, which means completely empty, is in black. Okay, so what we'll do is here where it shows unallocated, we will right click, and then we'll click new simple volume, and then we'll go through the simple volume wizard. So next, if you want to make partitions, you would change that here. I'm going to make it an entire drive. Next, assign the drive as drive E, and we can change that if we wanted to. Next, and then I'm gonna name this one WD demo install. And then we'll click, we'll leave that as perform a quick format. And then we'll click next and finish. So within a few seconds, we can see it's formatting, but within a few seconds, this shows up, WD demo install E. So I'll close out of here. I'll open File Explorer, go to this PC, and bam, there we can see our WD demo install drive. It's there, it is a drive, and if we wanted to, to save some space, and I'm just going to go ahead, do one file, I'm gonna go ahead, click on that file, Go to that drive that I just created, paste, and now it's out of my C drive into my E drive, saving some space. Mind you, you're going to want to move a lot more than just one file, but just to give you an example, and now you can install games, applications, use it for storage, whatever you like. So now I'm gonna show you real quick how to install Windows 10 on it. So what I'm going to do to prepare it, now mind you, if this is a new drive, you don't have to worry about it. I'm doing this to make it easy for people that might have had already a drive that they use and want to convert into a C drive if they have other drives. So I'm gonna go ahead and click again, disk management. And to not confuse myself, I don't wanna overwrite disk zero, disk one, or disk two, so I'm gonna right click on WD demo install, and I'm going to click delete volume and yes. Okay, so there we go. Now, if this was a brand new drive, you might have to right click over here under the disk and then initialize the disk, but I don't have to initialize the disk because I've already used it before. Okay, so now it is a 100% clear partition and uh, let's go ahead and install Windows 10. Now, I created a Windows 10 install drive. I'll go ahead and link up above so that you can know how to create one of these as well. For me, this is the best method to install Windows 10. As Microsoft creates updates, they're going to include it in their latest version. With the Windows Media Creation Tool, it allows you to get always the latest version. That way, when you install your Windows, you don't have a trillion updates. You might only have 100. But anyway, let's get to that real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click, hover over shutdown or sign out, and then click restart. All right, after we've restarted the computer, on the BIOS post screen, we're going to want to hit delete or F2, whatever it is to enter your particular BIOS. Now, your BIOS is going to look different than mine. I have the EVGA Z390 dark motherboard. Everything should be relatively similar. If there is something that you're not too sure on, go ahead and ask me down in the comments below. I'd always be more than happy to help you out. So we're going to go under advanced configuration, enter setup. Then we're going to go under save and exit. And then here, we're going to go down under UEFI, SMI, USB disk, 1100, or whatever the thumb drive you have is, it will be listed there. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter there. Because I've created the drive under the Media Creation Toolkit, I've selected to have 64-bit and 32-bit options. I'm going to select 64-bit. Now I apologize, I'm actually recording off of my monitor. My capture card is having issues, so this turns out to be the best and the only way right now. Okay, we'll click next here, install now. I don't have a product key or enter your own product key. Then select the version of Windows 10, mine is Pro. 
Accept the license terms, of course, after you read all that. And next, make sure to choose custom install Windows only advanced. Okay, so then when you come here to the Windows setup, where do you want to install Windows? You might notice if you have other drives, there's going to be a bunch here. I always recommend to install with no other drive plugged in, but if you have to, notice drive one has four different partitions. It's also down here under partition four, 930 gigs or one terabyte. We want to install onto the 500 gig drive. So select the unallocated space and click next. Okay, now this is going to go through its entire process. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this entire part. Now, if you already had a drive with Windows installed and you're installing this drive and you're installing Windows on the second drive, you're going to be given this option, which you want to boot off. Some people like to have dual boot OSs. They want to keep on their, their stuff there. I like one OS, one option. So we're going to select volume two. All right, so now we're in Windows. We've just installed Windows, we're good. Now it's gonna be setting up everything. Mind you, if you're connected to the internet, it'll start downloading drivers and all that good stuff. I might recommend to not be connected to the internet. That way you can install your own drivers that you might've prepared before, but that's a different story. So in order to fix that multiple boot thing, we're going to want to click on the start button and type in MS config and press enter. Okay, so then after we go into boot, we're going to see the one we just installed and then the previous one. So what we can do is click on the previous one and then click delete. Okay, that's not going to delete that drive. That drive will be intact. That's just going to delete the boot partition. That way you don't boot directly to that drive anymore. You boot to this one. Okay, I'm going to keep that on there because that's the OS I'm using in the background. Now, if you want to change back to this one, just select it and click set as default. So in this video, I've shown you how to install an SSD, how to connect all the cables and how to get everything working from top to bottom and even to installing Windows 10. So I hope I helped you out in this video and this is part of the basic series. Now on this video, I show you how to not only download the Windows 10, but create the thumb drive that I used to install this version of Windows 10. Now mind you, since this was a quick fast forward kind of installing Windows 10, I skipped over a lot, but in this video right below that, I show you how to install Windows 10 from start to finish. All right, my friends, if you have any questions, please don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. I always try to respond to all of your questions. Iggy out. See you guys.